Beep. Carrie here from Homestead How and the Carnivore Diet Documentary. I'm on day four of my water fast. I'm doing in solidarity with my friend Jeff, who's going through stage four cancer right now. Jeff and I just did a video together with his friend Ronnie, who also had stage four cancer. And amazingly, she's cancer free now. She had cancer in her lungs, um, in her stomach, in five different parts of her body. And she was told she was terminal and inoperable, incurable, and she only had a little time to live. Well, that was a couple of years ago, and she's cancer free right now. And Ronnie's message and Jeff's message is resonated amazingly in this documentary that I came across. Uh, this website is called cancerrevolution.film. Cancer revolution.film. I will leave a link in the description below. It's amazing what they have here. Uh, go watch the trailer. These ideas have been around, but nobody seemed to have connected the dots. When you start looking deeper into this, there are some cancer cells that have no genetic mutations. The goal of cancer therapies is to kill the tumor before you kill the patient. The hospitals benefit, the doctors benefit from it, the pharmaceutical companies benefit. It's a huge money revenue generation system. As I often say, the problem with science is it's done by human beings. How does evolution fit into this picture? There is an alternative. How come nobody's telling you about these alternatives? A chapter of cancer research too rarely discussed. The newest hope for cancer may be one of the oldest. There has been some amazing work done in this area. I just watched the first episode and it blew my mind. It was fantastic. From a cinematography standpoint, it was amazing. But all of that aside, the, the message, the story, the research, the, the, the 3D graphics, like you're going to watch this and be like, it all makes so much sense now. It's so clear. If you know anyone who is suffering from cancer, if you're worried about cancer, who doesn't? Who doesn't have some, who isn't impacted by cancer? Who doesn't have a loved one that hasn't died of cancer? If you're diagnosed with cancer, you deserve to have this information. There's over a million people right now going through chemo. I guarantee you, almost none of them know about this. You're diagnosed with cancer and, and oftentimes they're like, here's chemo, here's radiation, this is all we can do. And they don't talk about this other stuff. I am not saying if you're diagnosed with cancer, you should do what my friend Jeff does or uh, what some of the people in this documentary have done. I am just saying you deserve to have this as an option, an option that has been incredibly effective for so many people on here. I was in tears at the end of this uh, first episode. They brought in some real stories from many, many, many individuals uh, who have taken a metabolic approach to cancer. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with all of this, you have to watch this. CancerRevolution.film. In our carnivore diet documentary, initially cancer wasn't even in there until I met my friend Jeff. And then I realized, of course it's going to be in there. Cancer is like a microcosm. It's a reflection of the larger problem we have in this world. Otto Warburg, Professor Siegfried, they say that cancer is caused by mitochondria malfunction. And Professor Siegfried says that malfunction is from what? In many cases, it is from chronic inflammation. What does most people have chronic inflammation from? You can get it from smoking cigarettes or other carcinogens, but what else can you get it from? The food you are eating. The food you are eating. 88% of people in the general public have poor metabolic health. And Philip Ovadia, heart surgeon, told me, if you have poor metabolic health, you're 6x times more likely to suffer from heart disease. And then you have diabetes, and then you have depression, and anxiety, and mental health, and then people have IBS, and they have all of these stomach issues. It's so simple. It's the food we're eating. But it's represented so well if you look closer at cancer. I believe, in the vast majority of cases, this is what I believe, People have cancer and you go to the doctor and they say, it's a fluke. We don't know why. No, we know why. The, the information is in this documentary. It's all right here. It's been around for decades and decades and decades. All of the billions and billions of dollars spent on cancer and the death toll just keeps going up and up and up. They haven't even made a dent in it. Why? Because they're trying to treat a metabolic problem with synthetic chemicals, with unnatural methods. 
It's just like all of the issues I've had my entire life, all of my health ailments and issues I've had my entire life. I've talked about those many times before. Every single one of those was because I escaped from natural. I departed from natural. I went so far away from natural and I got suicidal depression and I got anxiety and I got heart issues. I had problems sleeping. I had sleep apnea. I had IBS. I had so many issues, aches and pains and ailments for years and years and years. And the bottles of pills kept piling up and up. And what do those pills do for me? Absolutely nothing. And now here I am six months into carnivore and I am on zero pills. When I was on 15 pills before, I'm on zero pills. Why? Because I've returned to natural. I'm a proper human now. And cancer is just, like I said, it's a re representation of what's going on in the bigger world. You get sick and your stomach hurts and you go to the doctor, here's a pill. You get depressed and suicidally depressed, you go to the doctor and they say, here's a pill. The problem is not medication or taking a synthetic pill. The problem is what you're putting into your body. A pill will never fix that. And I believe that's the case in most, I'm not saying all, in most cancers. People are eating all these horrible foods. We've escaped from natural so far. They get inflammation. All of this sugar and seed oils and all this stuff causes chronic inflammation. It damages your mitochondria and you get cancer. Or you get depressed. Or you get heart disease and you have a heart attack. It's so simple. This documentary is fantastic. I highly recommend it to everyone. Everyone. Uh, CancerRevolution.film. Uh, the, the people behind this, I'm going to be talking to. I'm doing a cancer roundtable at the end of the month. I'm so honored to have Professor Thomas Seafried join us for this cancer roundtable. Jeff DeProsperis is going to be there. Ronnie Campbell is going to be there. And a couple other amazing guests that have cancer and are thriving or have overcome it. And they're using what they're talking about in this documentary. Metabolic therapies metabolic solutions returning to natural so i just did a video with jeff de prosperous and ronnie campbell ronnie campbell had stage four terminal cancer they were just going to throw her on chemo and that was the end of it and she took things into her own hands she did a lot of what they're talking about in this documentary and she's cancer free right now i just did a video with her and jeff so after you're done watching this if you could, I'll have a link in the description. I'm going to post that one and go watch that one. Go watch that. Oh my goodness. We have to get this word out. We have to get this word out. If you are scared of dying of cancer, if you're scared of getting cancer, if you know someone that had cancer, share this cancerrevolution.film. Share this video. Share the video I did with, with Jeff and um, Ronnie Campbell. It, it could change people's lives. Every, there's, how many people today are diagnosed with cancer? Imagine the hopelessness. And it's so much more hopeless because they're diagnosed with cancer and they say, here's some pills or here's some chemo and that's all we can do and I'm sorry, that's the best we can do. And all of these other people say, no, I have hope. I have a plan. I'm taking things into my own two hands. And I have something I can do. We have to get this message out. Every single person that's diagnosed with cancer deserves to have this just as an option. Now, I'm not saying they have to do this, but they deserve to have this. Here's an option. Here's an option. Here's two options I can do. Here's three options I can do. They need to take their health into their own hands and they need to decide a plan and they need to put it into action and they need to have the examples and the options that nobody does right now. And that's a travesty. So please share this video. Go check out cancerrevolution.film. Share their videos. Share it with them. I'm not affiliated with these guys at all. If someone told me about it. I just watched the first episode this morning. I was crying after watching the end of it. It's amazing. This documentary they're doing is amazing and everyone should see this. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out the links in the description below and please help share the word. Beep.